Right, lines up the shot. Oh, it's a goal! To make this penalty shootout game, you'll need these things to help you. You'll need about four pencils. You could use lolly sticks if you happen to have them at home. Four rubber bands or anything stretchy and round like bubbles you might have in your hair care items. Some sellotape, some scissors, something soft and something about the same size as a cardboard box of cereal. First, what we're going to do is cut off one of the large faces of the box. You may want to ask an adult to help you or to supervise you while you use scissors. Then you're going to sellotape down these flap pieces so that it stays a bit stronger. Next, you're going to take three of your fingers, put them together like this on the side of your cardboard box. And at the halfway mark, somewhere in the middle here, you make a little dot. We're going to poke our pencil through that hole in just a moment. But first, we're going to make sure that we've done each other corner in a similar way. Three fingers, mark the middle. For this next step, we'll need the something soft that we have. I've used a packet of tissues. Um, what we're going to do is put those on the other side of where you've marked the dot, so that when you press down, you don't poke your finger. There's a hole there. I'll just do this three more times. Again, you could be using something like blue tack to help you if you happen to have that lying around. For this next step, we're going to take two elastic bands or bubbles and tie them together. You may want to ask an adult to help this because it can get quite fiddly. We're just going to thread it through one of them so that it's like this and then fold it into itself so you can tie it like that. You just need to repeat this another time so that you've got two extra long stretchy elastic bands. We're going to widen the holes with the pencil just by drilling the pencil through until it's as wide as that. So each of them, careful not to poke yourself as you go through. You shouldn't have to press too hard if you are drilling, twisting or pushing. Then we can take our extra long elastic band, flatten it and push it through the hole. It gets quite fiddly. But with some perseverance, we can get it done. There we are, until it sticks out of this side. That's when you take one of the pencils, pop it through and pull so the pencil stays flat against the side of the box. We'll do this on the other side now to create an elastic band that stretches across the whole of the box. Like so. Oh, that's going to be our kick taker for the penalty shootout. If we turn the box around, we can do the other side. So you have something that looks a bit like this. Both sides with an elastic band. And if you hold on to the face of the box that you cut out earlier, it should fit very nicely in the middle of your box, holding it open, like so. Scrunch up a ball of paper to be your football, and to measure the size of the goal, place it 
onto the piece of card at the, at the side that will be the bottom. Then you can roughly see how high up you need to make your goal so that it will fit through. I think it will need to be about this tall. So I've cut my slits there and now I can fold it up and I should have a space enough for there to be a good goal. And because I don't need the rest, I'm going to cut along the top of this line here. You could use a ruler if you wanted a really straight line. I just want to get playing, so I'm going to cut as straight a line as I can. And I'll stick it back into my cardboard box. Football pitch. Let's test it out. Way! If you wanted to, you can now decorate it with the things that you have around at home um, to make it look a bit more cheerful.